Hello, Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder here. We're back on the extension. You can see we're well underway. Robin's here. He's had his shreddies and he's out. It's a lovely sunny day. Look at it, how beautiful it is. And quite honestly, that's the kind of weather you need for doing a job like this. Apart from the fact it's still frosty. Oh, I love the winter weather, the frost. Anyway, at least we've got the brickwork done, so the frost isn't going to harm us as far as that goes. And we've got up to what we call plate level, which is the timber plate which is going to hold the roof structure. Now, when you put this on, you've got to spend a lot of time getting this right because carpenters curse bricklayers like mad if they've bedded this plate on and it's wrong. In fact, some carpenters say, don't put the plate on, I'll put the plate on, leave it. Anyway, Mark, who's very diligent bricklayer. He put this plate on, he's bedded it through, he bedded it through the old fashioned way. It comes off the existing plate of the house. So in there, on the rafters, is another plate here. So we've leveled that through and we've gone round with it, all the way round level. We've got the laser level out, we've checked our levels there, and we've also checked that the whole thing is square. Very, very important that you have it square. So let me just show you how we check it square. We can do this. We can use the lazy man's way now, which is to just get one of these squares, folding squares, put it on there and just check it comes right. In actual fact, no, that's pretty good. The way we used to do this back in the day the way the Greeks did it, three, four, five. In other words, you take any three, so if we take 30 inches, for example, on here from the corner, and we mark across there, 30, then on here, we get 40. It doesn't matter what it is, just so long as that ratio is the same. And we mark 40 on there, we don't need this square, we can mark this on the plate. In other words, let me just show you. Take that out the way. We're gonna go 30 on here. We go 40 on there. And if it's square, the distance from that mark to that mark will be 50. And if it's not 50, you either move that one in or you move that one out but as you move it, you get 50 dead on, and that will give you a perfect right angle. That's the way it's been done for thousands of years. Three, four, five. Anyway, so that is all square, parallel. The other thing we need to check is that the distance from this plate here to that plate over there is the same. And then we move up here, we check it in the middle, because sometimes wood is bent and then we check it at the end, and we've got that absolutely parallel, absolutely square, absolutely level. And if we don't do that, he squeals like a pig. Really? Oh, Robin, Yeah. he hates it. Because if he gets that right, he can go down there, he can cut all the timbers on a production line, every single one the same, put them up, bish, bosh, bash. Job done. So let me just explain this. Here is the back of the house. We can probably reference to a drawing at this point, and you can see that this is the square room here. So, from the square room, we suddenly change to a roof that goes up in line with this pitch here. Now, in order to get this roof in line with that pitch, we've had to break those tiles off because it was very difficult to see the line of that rafter with those tiles on, because what very often happens with tiles is they kick up slightly. So you need to find out where that rafter is running in there. And now we've found the rafter, we can line all our rafters in with this rafter here up to the ridge plate. Now that ridge plate is set obviously below the roof line up there, because we don't want that poking out and it's set halfway between this wall plate here and this one. Now, that's important. 
because we've got a halfway point, that ridgeway, you can see the pencil line maybe on the wall there where we put the spirit level down. So we know that that ridge is exactly halfway. So when we take a measurement, we take half the run. We deduct half the thickness of that ridge plate up there, which is 45 millimeters. Then you can get this off the internet or wherever you like. There's a multiplier that you do. Now, if this is a 45 degree pitch, or sorry, 35 degree pitch, when you look it up on the table, it gives you a multiplier of 1.222, whatever. So you take that measurement that I told you about, which is half the run minus half the ridge ball. You multiply that by 1.22, probably need your calculator, your phone or whatever, and that will give you the rafter length from there down to that point there, that plate there, which is where the bird's mouth is going to sit in. You'll see that when we get to do the roofing, the actual cutting, but that's the important point. Now we need that to be parallel there, we need that to be parallel there, so we spent ages honestly i'm talking about ages measuring out tweaking playing around with this because that roof which we thought was 35 actually turns out to be 33 and a half so our multiplier wasn't fantastic but the other way you could do it you can cheat it you can just put your plate up set your plates out there and take a measurement and rather than use a tape i usually just lay a piece of timber on there get myself a mark on there, get myself a mark on there, and then use that piece of timber as my template measure. But once you've done it, once you get one rafter in, and you check that rafter there, you check that rafter on the other end, you check it on the other side, and if it's absolutely spot on both ways, you're right. But anyway, as I say, a bit of a ball lake, one of those things that, quite honestly, as a plumber, slightly out of my depth here but I'm surrounded by talented people who save the day but even sometimes on existing buildings the fact that that could be out of level between the front and the back of the building the fact that the pitch at the front could be different to the pitch at the back you know these houses basically were thrown up really quite honestly built in 1952 when there was a labor shortage guys weren't coming back from the war or whatever and they didn't even have much in the way of materials so you can't expect these buildings to be spot on. Anyway, I'm Roger Bisbee. I hope you found all that rambling useful. That is a preamble to the next bit, which is Robin here. Robin is going to do the roof. He's going to cut it in for me and uh, you'll see it go together. That's the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber because we need subscribers. We want to grow this channel and subscribers are the most important thing to us. Well, apart from viewers.